Ebunulua Faith. Uh, you're welcome if you're watching for the first time. And I appreciate everyone who has been following uh, all this while. And I give all the glory. May all adoration be unto the ancient one, the most powerful, the king maker, the Lord of hosts, the Holy One of Israel, the Lord Almighty. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord for making her this time, making this this season possible. Uh, blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. All right. Uh, I don't know if this uh, three days will be enough for uh, this topic that the Lord has laid strongly in my heart. Uh, uh, the purpose of the church in, uh, in building a nation and uh, raising leaders as our, our, our main point and main topic to talk about. So in the first place, uh, I'm going to just talk about the introduction uh, today. This Right now, I'm going to be talking about the introduction into uh, what is happening uh, in, in the spirit realm concerning uh, the body of Christ. And so, what is happening to the, to the people of God is that God wants us to take uh, our leadership role. He wants us to take our leadership role. Um, um, let me first say, let me put a definition to who is a leader or what is leadership all about. Uh, let me say leadership is the ability to influence your own self to, and to influence, you know, others. Uh, but I will want to say it in this way. I want to say that leadership is the power to set yourself free and to serve others free. That is uh, one of my definition uh, for leadership in the first place. Uh, so before I go into other details, I just want to set a background like I have said. I have found something in God's word. I found something in God's word and that thing I found in God's word is what more than gold. I mean, what has the highest value on earth right now? It is what more than gold, what more than silver, what more than a billionaire. I mean, what is a billionaire? What I found in the word of God. And so let me, uh, let me lead us into Daniel chapter 7. Verse 21 uh, to 22, we are going to be doing some Bible readings. Uh, this is going back to the vision that Daniel had and the meaning and interpretation that was given to him. Remember, see, every season, every happening on earth is prophetic. Everything happening, you know, to you has been prophetic. Uh, because of this kind of season, God has been preparing you. God has been preparing the church. Everything you have been going through, God has been preparing you for such a time that we are about to enter into now. Um, so, if we go to Daniel chapter 7, uh, from verse 21, thank you Holy Spirit for your mighty presence. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Um, I'm going to start from verse 21. That is Mark, um, um, Daniel chapter 7. I'm going to start from verse 21. And I'm reading from Good News or uh, uh, Bible. You see, in the vision that Daniel saw, the vision is being explained here. And so he said, while I was looking, that on made war on God's people and conquered them. You see, in the end time, you know, he said that there was a horn that made war on God's people and the horn conquered them. And so the one who had been living forever came and pronounced judgment in favor of the people of the Supreme God. Wow. The time had arrived for God's people to receive royal power. Let me, let me emphasize on somewhere here. 
verse 22 says then after you know uh this particular one has been has been worrying on god's people and he has been conquering but now there's a time that i've come he says that who he who has been living forever he who has been living forever came and pronounced judgment in favor of the people of the supreme god so the time had arrived for god's people to receive royal power now this is what makes for me this is what makes leadership this is what leadership is all about this is what a leader is all about you having the royal power we the church having the royal power back oh uh, i mean this is a vision of that God revealed to Daniel about the end time. And uh, the, the Lord is explaining, you know, the visions to him. As there has been a set of people, there have been a group of people or someone that have been waging war on God's people. And he has been conquering. He has been, you know, doing it and nothing has happened. Now, but a time came when the judge, the ancient one arises and, you know, a uh, 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 judges judged and pronounced judgment in favor of you know the people of the supreme god now first of all before i go ahead if you have not given your life to jesus honestly uh whatever i don't care whatever degree or whatever um, title you have whatever position whatever whatever you have accumulated it is nothing the most important thing is for you to give your life to jesus christ so that you can become part of the people of the supreme god because some things are happening so that you can be a part of the blessing so that you can be a part of you know the prophetic that uh, is coming to pass and so you have to be a part of the supreme god you have to be a part of the people of god because god is you know pronouncing judgment in favor of the people of supreme god and then he now said the time had arrived for god's people to receive royal power the royal power has been taken away from man when adam fell and so our position as leaders uh, what the purpose of you know what the purpose of church is supposed to be the purpose of our of the body of Christ as as the temple of the Holy Spirit the purpose you know can be achieved when there is power and so for me my definition of a leadership is someone that has power and that's the ability to set others free not just influence but set in yourself free and self other set others free and so this is you know what I'm talking about when I say uh, the purpose of church in raising leaders and so the church has to come to a place where uh, uh people will be you know placed in the position whereby this prophetic can come to pass in their lives and you don't have to wait for the church you don't have to wait for your pastor to do everything for you this relationship this journey is personal it is so personal. Any revelation you get, it is actually a personal one. Whatever uh, deliverance you get, it is personal. And so your walk with Christ is a personal one. And so God is saying that this time, this season, it is not a coincidence. That you are watching me, that you are listening to me, it is not a coincidence. That I am talking at this particular time, in this season, it is prophetic. It is the, the, the manifestation of the promises of God in uh, through our prophets, through our prophet, uh, uh, prophet uh, Isaiah, and and some other prophets that the Lord has spoken through, and so it's time for us to receive our royal power, and you cannot receive the royal power if you are not part of the people of God, and so. As a Christian, as a believer, you cannot be cold, you cannot be lukewarm. You have to be hot. You have to be on fire. You have to be intentional about serving, about serving God. You have to be intentional about seeking God's face. You have to be intentional. And I pray that the Lord Almighty, 
will help us in the name of Jesus. And so I, I read further that same Daniel chapter 7 uh, from verse 26. Now, he said that then the heavenly courts will sit in judgment, take away his power, and destroy him completely. And this is um, this, this is still talking about the, the, the one that is waging war on, the, on, the, on God's people. And so verse 27 says, The power and greatness of all the kingdoms on earth, the power and greatness, of all the kingdoms on earth will be given to the people of supreme God their royal power will never end and all rulers on earth will serve and obey them now this is what leadership is all about this is what leadership is all about now the power and the greatness of all the kingdoms on earth, kingdoms on earth will be given to people of the supreme god their royal power will never end and all rulers on earth will serve and obey them now this is the season to receive your royal power this is the season to receive our royal power because we belong to the we are part of the people of the supreme god uh i want to take us to the book of of isaiah chapter 45 um because uh a, a leader is is the one that has been empowered with the royal power a leader is one that has been empowered with the royal power when you have the royal power i mean it comes with wisdom it, when you have the royal power definitely you be you belong to the people of the of the of you belong to the people of the supreme god god cannot call you his people if he has not you know filled you with the spirit and so that means you are filled with the holy spirit you are filled with power and so you be you be you become a leader the leader for this season the leader for this season that will set the captives free the leaders that the church will raise will set the captives free the leaders that church will raise will set free those who are in 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 dark prisons this is what is expected of leaders uh, uh, and like we have so many churches all over, so many churches uh, uh, all over. And then you still wonder why some things are still happening. And so I want to encourage the pastors, teachers, prophets, uh, uh, leaders. Let us raise leaders that are taking back their real power. Leaders that are empowered, filled with power, filled with the Holy Spirit, that are baptized with fire. Because this is the only way. This is the only way that we can, you know, fulfill purpose in this end time. There is a real power that has been a, a, that has been released in this end time, and as we have seen in the book of Daniel. And so, um, I'm taking us to uh, the book of Isaiah. Um, this introduction won't take us a long time, but we are going to just be doing some Bible scriptures uh, as the background. And so in Isaiah chapter 45, I'm still reading the version, Good News. The Lord has chosen, that's verse 1, the Lord has chosen Cyrus to be king. The Lord has chosen somebody to be a leader, to be king. He has chosen that person to be the leader. And then, now the next thing that God started doing for that person, you know, for you, if he has chosen you to be a leader, he starts preparing you. You know, he starts telling you things, you know, should you do things you shouldn't do. He start, you know, he said, uh, he has appointed him to conquer nations. Now, in this place here, he, he first gave him, to, I have appointed you to be a king, a leader. And this is what I want you to do. I have appointed you to conquer nations. I have appointed you to send, you know, to stripe kings of their power. So, you stripe kings of your power because you yourself are empowered. You have the royal power. Um... So the Lord will open the gates of cities for him to Cyrus. The Lord says, I myself prepare your way, leveling mountains and hills. I will break down bronze gates and smash their high bars. Now, as, I mean, the fact that you are going through situations or things are not going well, well for you does not mean God has not chosen you. You just need to receive the royal power that is available now through the prophetic that has been said through uh, uh, the vision that um, 
that Daniel saw and through this prophetic of, of the prophet, uh, the prophetic words of, of our prophet Isaiah. Um, honestly, I want to take us to uh, Holy Spirit, I thank you because you are interpreting your word unto people. Uh, you are bringing forth revelation unto, unto the hearers in the name of Jesus. Now, I want to go to verse 4, Isaiah 45, verse 4. He says, I appoint you to help my servant Israel. This is the work. This is what, you know, uh, um, God is appointing leaders to do in this season. To help, you know, what to help. To help people. Help the, the, the ones that the enemy is trampling on. The people that I have chosen. I have given you great honor, although you don't know me. Now, verse 5 says, I am the Lord. There is no other God. I will give you the strength that you need. The strength that you need. Now, so to be a leader, to be a king that the Lord has chosen, there is a strength that you need. And God is saying here that I will give you the strength that you need, even though you don't know me. Another version will say, I will arm you. I will guard you. Another version will say, I have prepared you for the work that I have called you to do. And so there is a work that God has called us to do, to be kings, to be kings and priests over nations, to strike off powers over those who are oppressing the chosen of God. And so do you want to be part of this, uh, of this uh, uh, leadership gang? <laughs> I mean, that, that's the way I want to put it. Okay, so um, God is re releasing the royal power and the leader is somebody that has, you know, uh, that has received the royal power in my own terms, my own definition, by the enablement of the enablement of the Holy Spirit, the leader that the church should be looking forward to raise in this end time season is the one that is filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Because without the power of the Holy Ghost, we cannot do anything much. And so uh, I'm going to be rounding up here. I'm going to be I will continue from where I stopped from. I'm going to let us realize that it takes this, this royal power, this power to actually be, you know, the king that God has appointed, you know, us to be. Uh, it takes this power for uh, for Cyrus, who used to do good, you know, and God wanted to promote him so that he can help others. Now, the help he want, God wanted him to help others is beyond giving money. God wants him to help others to set them free from bondage, to set them free from uh, uh, from dark prison. And so this is the power that we need, that we need to receive. And so when we are talking about church raising leaders, lady raising leaders, building nation uh, through leadership, is that the church should expose the people, the congregation, and let them receive the royal power that is released right now. It's being released right now because this is the time and this is the season for the fulfillment of that scripture in the book of Daniel that we have just read. And so royal power is being given. And so please ensure that you uh, 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 you you take uh, uh, you, you 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 take this word seriously and you are closer to God now more than ever before. All right. Um, I thank you, sweet Jesus precious holy spirit for the revelation of your word for understanding that has been released in the acts of men for new things that has been birthed in the church in the body of christ may your name be exalted O lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen see you another time